Good evening. I'm Kim Hye-sung, and starting today, I'll be bringing you the latest on the 2018 PyeongChang Winter Olympics. We are on day three of the games, and tons of exciting events from speed skating and ice hockey to figure skating have taken place over the weekend. Let me tell you about some of the highlights. Short track speed skater Im Hyo Jun secured the first gold medal for South Korea, the host country of the games, on Saturday. In his debut event, the 21 year old made an Olympic record of 10.485 seconds in the men's 1500 meter short track speed skating event, coming ahead of Dutch world record holder Sinke Knet by seven one hundredths of a second, or just two blade lengths. Moving on to the 5,000 meter speed skating, South Korea's Lee Sung Hoon came in first in his group, Group 5, with a time of 6 minutes 14.15 Sunday. But Dutch speed skating star Sven Kramer, who was in Group 10, set a new Olympic record, finishing the race in 6 minutes 9.76 seconds and claimed gold, becoming the first Olympic speed skater to win an individual event three straight times. Canada and Norway won silver and bronze. Another sports star broke a world record, this time in figure skating. 18 year old Russian figure skater Yevgenia Medvedeva set a new world record in the women's figure skating short program team event on Sunday. With her feather light jumps and elegant spins, she scored 81.06, breaking the world record set by her previously and coming ahead of Italian figure skater Carolina Kostner, who earned a 75.10. A two time world figure skating champion, the rising Russian star is a strong gold medal contender for the women's singles competition. Now, that brings us to the medal tally we have so far. As of 6 p.m. Monday, Germany is topping the list with three gold medals, two from biathlon and one from ski jumping. The Netherlands is second, boosted by its dominance in speed skating. The United States ranks third with two gold, one silver and one bronze. The host country, South Korea, is sixth with one gold medal. And of course, the Olympics isn't just about setting new records or winning medals. There is always something a little touching and special about the Olympics. The theme of peace and unity from the opening ceremony seems to be continuing its momentum. And all eyes are on the United Korea women's ice hockey team who will be playing against Sweden Monday night in about three hours from now at 9.10 p.m. Korea time. It's the only sport in the PyeongChang Winter Olympics that the two Koreas are competing in as a united team, so it will be full of emotions and rare scenes like cheering squads from North Korea, as we saw from the match between the United Korean team and Switzerland Saturday. So don't miss it. Women's speed skating is slated for 9.30 p.m. tonight, and Tuesday's lineup includes men's alpine combined team, cross-country skiing, women's 500-meter short track speed skating, and men's 1,500-meter speed skating. That's all I have for our 6 p.m. newscast, and here are the game's results for today's events.